Thank you for joining us on 2 News Oklahoma at 5. I'm Erin Christie. As you just saw, tensions rapidly increasing in the Middle East where missiles have been launched from Iran to Israel. We will continue to follow that story, but right now we're turning our focus back to green country and covering the local issues that matter most to you. We've been tracking the growing concerns surrounding the U.S. Postal Service, and today postal workers have been rallying in Tulsa to demand better staffing and improved service. This call for action echoes across the nation as communities push for transparency and solutions to ongoing mail delays and service issues. 2 News Oklahoma Samson Tamajani listens in to learn more about how these protests are shaping the conversation. I'm 2 News reporter Samson Tamajani. The local postal workers union first told our 2 News listening booth at the Tulsa State Fair on Monday that despite a recent U.S. Postal Service announcement, conditions aren't getting better for them or your mailing service. I first reported last month the U.S. Postal Service's move to keep current jobs at the Tulsa Mail Processing Center and modernize equipment. United Postal Workers Union Tulsa Chapter President Julia Weir says that USPS announcement was misleading. They are still downgrading it to an LPC where it'll be a packaging processing center. The mail's still going to go to Oklahoma City. We're still going to have less equipment at our facility, so it'll have less jobs at our facility. First class mail! First class service! That brings us here, outside the South Sheridan Road Post Office, part of the National Union's Day of Action across the country. One of those picketing Tuesday was Debbie Cottrell, who last spoke to 2 News in March during a public meeting opposing mail processing in OKC. I was a current employee with the USPS 35 years. Mm. After I did the meeting, I feel as if I was targeted. I feel as if they gave me undesirable jobs. So I retired on May 31st. So why are you here today? I'm here today to stand for the people who still have a job there. I sent an email Tuesday morning asking the regional USPS spokesperson about the claims made by union members. A response just said, quote, we respect our employees' rights to express their opinions and participate in informational picketing while off the clock. These picketers have a warning for male customers in green country. I mean, we have a bad rap all, already for our service. It's not going to get any better. In Tulsa, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.